Why were all the cameras around earlier? Thanks. They were here for that guy over there. Why? He's that principal who went online to try to hook up with a 15-year-old girl. He did? That's disgusting. It is so disgusting. Well, the whole thing's pathetic, really. Middle-aged guy, divorced. Not that that excuses anything. They said he was a good principal, at least. What age? Elementary. He wasn't into those kids. No, oh, no, he wasn't that type of creep. In fact, they liked him at school. Faculty members said he seemed to love his job, really loved working with the teachers, good with the children. He even got an award at some point. <laughs> he can kiss all that goodbye. Oh, yeah. He should have thought of that before he started visiting Internet chat rooms. On his home computer? Yeah. Probably thought no one would ever know. <laughs> well, he can wake up from that dream. Really? But obviously he did more than just chat. Oh, yeah. He starts out casual. Then he's going farther, getting into some sketchy areas. Giving in to the dark side. Oh, no, seriously. He's really off the track. And eventually he winds up in this chat where he thinks he's talking to a 15-year-old girl. Ew. Ew is right. And he's not just, you know, exchanging pleasantries about the weather. He lets her know he wants to have sex with her. Ew, ew. He's all excited, and he sets up this rendezvous. Ew, ew, ew. So he goes over there to hook up with Lolita. one of those stings. Oh yeah, he's like instantly busted. You know, he set it all up online. So they have a record of the whole conversation. They have him showing up at what he thought was her house. I mean, no way can he defend what he's done. When Mr. Stevens arrived at the scene, he was put under arrest for his conduct. He was charged with a felony. He made a plea agreement and was found guilty of attempted child abuse. He's now serving out his sentence of 18 months probation. He's lucky he didn't wind up in jail. Who's lucky is all the actual 15-year-olds he didn't connect with. Suppose he'd hooked up with one for real. Ugh. What happens now? I bet he sells his computer. <laughs> Seriously. They aren't going to let him back into a school again, are they? Oh. This was a misdemeanor offense. But the conversation Mr. Stevens had, and the objective he had in mind, are clearly not anything we want to tolerate or condone in an educational professional at any level. We feel that in light of the severity, a permanent revocation is in order. So what do you think? Any chance they'll let him keep his certificate? Oh no, they're probably going to revoke it permanently. Good. I agree. I mean, how can anybody ever trust him again? I would not like a guy like that around my kids at any age, ever. Absolutely not.